All right, now I'm fishing for that other secret southern catfish bait. And to catch that type of bait, all I need are big red worms and a small hook and a bobber. I'm actually using a trout magnet jig head. Really, really small. And a thill bobber. Thill crappie bobber, I think this is called. Which is now wrapped up in my line. I'm also using ultralight gear here. A Seamar C10 tiny reel and tiny rod. This is actually a combo, but you can buy only the reel too. I don't think you can only buy the rod. And this is four pound line that probably needs to be replaced. Now hopefully I don't have too much blackberry stain all over me. There are a ton of blackberries in this park. So I grabbed a few and ate them as I roamed around. These big reds, they're basically European night crawlers. And they stay good in hot weather like right now. Unlike Canadian night crawlers, which need to stay cold all the time. When I hook it on here, I'm not doing anything special. Just hooking it on the hook. Leave the tip exposed so you can hook the fish. Let's see what I catch. There we go. All right. This is what I'm looking for. Bluegill or sunfish. It's a little sunny. This is the other secret southern catfish bait. And I'm going to keep them alive. I will say this, some of the absolute biggest catfish that I've seen caught have been caught off of bluegill. Joe's 100 pound class catfish, if I remember right, was caught using bluegill. I know in the middle of winter time one time, me and Ty with FV Catfish, we caught an absolute giant catfish, a 40 pounder I think, and it was on a popsicle of a bluegill. All the bluegill that he brought was frozen, so we hooked a frozen bluegill on the hook, tossed it out there, and literally like five minutes later, 40 pound blue. It didn't even have time to thaw. The water was 36 to 40 degrees, and the air temp was like 32 degrees. It was freezing that day. I will leave an iCard above to that specific fishing trip. Now I do have three fresh skipjacks for my trip tomorrow. And I'm probably going to have to buy a bunch of chicken, too. It would be nice if I could catch a few more bluegill to take with me. And with where we're going, I might take some live creek chubs to see if we can catch some smallmouth. The client didn't want to drive all the way to Kingston where I know there's fish, so we're trying a river section of the Tennessee River to see if we can get some catfish there. I've caught them there before. Hopefully I'll be able to catch them there this time, too. I actually caught a massive flathead on that river. So maybe we'll catch that flathead again. They usually don't move once they find the nice root to live on. Whoa. I've noticed a lot of bass jumping. Bluegill are far and few between. And all my other good spots are taken up right now. I would be at the pond that's down the creek. But there's a couple of kids there fishing, so they got there first. And now I'm squirrel fishing. <laughs> there we go. 
got to keep readjusting my bobber too. I don't want to tie it down too tight. All right, guys, I'm going to try another spot. All right, I've moved to a different spot to see if I can get some bluegill in this backwater cove area of the main lake. It's days like this that I'm glad that I have my bait tank at home that has a bunch of bluegill and creek chubs in it. Because of that bait tank, I really don't need to catch anything for tomorrow's trip, but it's nice to catch a few extras just in case. Now this spot, when I was a kid, I used to catch big bluegill. But as pretty much everywhere around here, it's all fished out. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch anything here. I am going to give it a try. And it's out of the sun. It's nice and shady here, which is a good thing. Good thing for me, not good for the camera. Ha! Right at the bank. Little bitty one. Oh! Ha. Took the worm right off my jig head. Let's try that again. <laughs> so small I can't even hook them. Well, Whoa, just caught a nice one off camera. Oh, come on. Orange sunfish. Trying to get this to come out on the camera for you guys. <laughs> That's not bad. I wish I could catch one pound bluegill all day long, but reality is you're not going to catch one pound bluegill all day long unless you know a really super secret spot. Which crazy enough, I met this older gentleman who gave me a bunch of secret one to two pound bluegill spots in this one quarry. He gave me the exact coordinates to where they are in the quarry. However, it's almost impossible to fish that quarry because there's hundreds of kayaks there now and probably no more pounder bluegills. It's the way things go sometimes. It is what it is. I will just catch whatever I can catch and then if I don't catch enough, I'll buy chicken. Of course, one could say chicken is yet another secret southern catfish bait. I remember when Catfish Dave down talked chicken a lot until he used chicken and caught multiple trophy sized catfish off the chicken. And I think our 50 pounder that me, Chat Cats Fishing and Realistic Fishing caught, I think that was also on chicken. Here I am one handing fish while talking to you guys. Got one of the little ones. I'll keep it. I had one that was half this size catch an absolute ginormous flathead. I mean, this thing was massive. Another one for my little bait tank. That's my Ingle bait cooler with the rechargeable aerator on it. Works really good. Seems like all these fish are right near the bank. Yep. There's the size of the one that caught a monster flathead. <laughs> I just keep reusing my worm. <laughs> so small. Uh oh. Oh. Broke my four pound line. I will be skipjack fishing later on today. Of course, I really don't record skipjack fishing because it is at super secret spots. 
it's one of those things. If I showed those secret spots, there'd be a hundred anglers catching skipjacks there until they're not there anymore, which would be a really bad thing. Let's see if I can recover my bobber without falling in. my bobber and jig head that's good okay I walked down the trail a little bit I got another tiny one. <laughs> oh, where did the big ones go I don't know but I will use this it will work as bait and I've seen big ones caught off of small ones and I'm sure some of you have as well leave a comment below if you've caught a big catfish with a bait that big now I want to address the elephant in the room real quick. Yes, Catfish Dave just did a video like this. Basically saying skipjack are the secret southern bait, which he's right, it is. You just can't count out bluegill. They work really good too. Cut bluegill, live bluegill. And with so many people using skipjacks, Maybe, whoa, the, did that just go down with me not looking? I think it did. I have to review the video on that. Anyway, as I was saying, you can't count out bluegill. And you can use live bluegill just as easily, whoa, as cut skipjack. It's really hard to have live skipjack on your line. But live bluegill, I've heard of people using the bigger live bluegill to catch stripers. And if you can catch stripers with it, it's just as good as a bait as skipjack. And it's just finding the bigger ones is uh, going to be the fun part. Yummy. I think I'm going to try to catch one more bluegill and then I'm going to switch over to skipjack fishing. As you can see, I try to put quite a bit of effort into catching bait for my guided trips. I've already been skipjack fishing at least twice to catch three whole skipjacks. Oh, there we go. Not too terrible. Right there is another bluegill. The other secret southern catfish bait. All right, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. Caught a bunch of sunfish, a bunch of bluegill, red ears, whatever. Some of these are, are not bluegills. I really do hope some of you have learned something new. If you have learned something new or you like this video, please hit that thumbs up to show the Google algorithm that me catching bluegill is worth promoting. I do like all kinds of fishing myself. However, the algorithm usually doesn't promote my bluegill or trout or other fish videos. It seems that people only want to watch me catch giant 80 pound catfish which is something that is extremely rare. Now, as always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this poor fish back in water and then head home and switch over to my skipjack gear. Maybe I can catch a few more for my client tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.